What's going on fish fanatics? It's Jay Wilson here and I wanted to bring you a quick announcement prior to the video. Last week we talked about stability and how we got both of these tanks set up so quickly. But the one thing I haven't done is shown you the A-Round Nature Lake Tanganyika shell dwelling tank. And that's what we're going to do today. But before we get started I wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much for just coming along on the ride, the journey from the original video that I will repost at some point to being able to deliver content that is fun and yet useful for most of you. So thank you very much. We've achieved 15,000 subscribers. Although numbers have never been a thing for myself, it plays a huge role in being able to give back. So get ready for the epic 15K raffle giveaway. All right, let's go. What's going on everybody? Thanks for staying tuned to the A-Round Nature Tank Lake Tanganyika Shell Dweller Biotope that I had set up. I wanted to talk to you real quick about the whole package. It's not just the fish I wanted to talk to you about. Well, the fish in itself are amazing. I have never done shellies. I've seen shellies done a few times, but I never had the, I don't want to say the, the knowledge, but I didn't really have the strong desire to do a shell dwelling tank until I was at Butch Livingston's house and I saw his corner tank and I was like, dude, you've got to explain that to me. And he did. Butch, he likes to explain stuff. And so he was really excited to go over the shell dwelling tank. And I started studying Lake Tanganyika a little bit. I got the book. And then my mind just literally burst into excitement of, I've got to try to keep these guys because there's something completely different. Now, I've talked about Trophius and the Gobies having this really cool personality. And I want to talk to you about the shell dwellers. So before I talk about the full setup and, and how I got there, I want to talk to you about the few species that I do have in this tank. So when I talked to Butch, I said I wanted to do something very similar. And he said, well, I'm going to be switching that tank out. Why don't you purchase some of these fish so I don't have to just kind of do this crazy rehoming thing. I can take them right out of there, bag them and send them to you. And I was like, perfect, let's do it. So I've got some Neolamprologus. Uh, there's two different styles. I have a, a Julia Chromis, it's a one version, and then I have a Xenotilapia in there. And I'll give you the full names once I show you the actual tank itself and how they do it. But these fish are full of personality. From the moment I got them in the tank, they were completely aggressive, especially the, uh, the Neolamprologus Breva Sunspot, Breva Sunspot. That fish is like a little bull. I'm telling you, the fish is about that big maybe an inch and possibly an inch and a half at most. And they are like bulls in the tank. So the wife dropped all of the shells in there. The shells are just a generic shell and they moved them. It was amazing to watch all of these shell dwellers move the shells. It was something I've never seen before. I've seen sand sifting and things like that, but nothing compares to what these little bad man pajamas do on a daily basis. That's what's really cool. And then we've got some universal rock, stackable rocks and a deco rock for the centerpiece, which seems to do quite well for them. I also have regular Carib Sea white sand. I'm telling you, it sets it off perfectly. There's no background, although I'm sure universal rocks and A-Round Nature could have worked together to create that background, but I'm really happy with the way it's set up. So the A-Round Nature tank itself is about 36 gallons. I've got a Zoomed light that I won at an auction at the OCA last November. Check that out. It's the Ohio Cichlid Association yearly extravaganza, and it is awesome. Um, it's a regular run sump. It literally looks three quarters the size of this tank, which I'll show you in a few moments. And it's filled with Pinky's Filter, Marine Pure, uh, Fluval Biomax, I think is what it's called. And of course, Seachem Matrix. I'm a huge Seachem fan. And then outside of that, it's got a traditional filter sock and a 250 gallon per hour pond sump that I also got when I purchased the tank. So when I purchased the tank, I got the stand, the eight pound, 36 gallon tank, and the plumbing and everything. So the neat part was, I like to buy things as a package deal because one, I really didn't at the time have a crazy amount of time to dedicate to building something that I wanted done sooner than later. But if you've got the time, 
PVC is easy to cut, it's easy to get, and the attachments are easy to get together. But I still had to put it together slightly and I did a video about a month, two months back that you can check out. So let me grab the camera and then I'm going to show you the sump and then we're gonna go back up and talk a little bit more about the fish. Sound cool? Let's go. Folks, before we get to the bottom sump, I did wanna show you this custom made acrylic top. This was done by ATS, the aquatic test stand company that's on Facebook. It's an amazing person. Um, and they did an amazing job at creating a top that fit literally perfectly uh, on top of the A-Round Nature Tank, and he was able to put my logo on it, which was really, really neat. So uh, definitely check out ATS. They can do an amazing amount of work. So let's look at the sump real quick. This is pretty neat because, as you can see, this is a magnet door, which is awesome. Now, this tank I would recommend for literally any space whether you're a doctor's office, a lawyer, um, if you have a vape shop, I mean, whatever you're doing, this tank could be a beautiful centerpiece. And the other neat part is, is even if you put it in a room or in a large room as a centerpiece, you can get a, a larger tank and it would definitely, definitely set it off nicely. So regular typical sump, this is actually three quarters the size of the tank above. And I've got the traditional filter sock, which needs to be replaced, which would have been today, but I'm filming instead. And then I've got uh, Marine Pure Balls, which I should have put in a bag, the Fluval Biomax, which I should have put in a bag, and the Seekin Matrix, which I should have put in a bag. And I will do that. That was a mistake, but it's not a failure because I've learned and I will not do that again. And then I have Pinky's filters right here, uh, just lining that whole chamber. Neat part is, is I've got the pump with a little pinky filter around it so that it doesn't vibrate along the side, which could be annoying. And then everything else is done the same. It's plumbed and it's rocking. There is a heater in there, but the heater is off because I honestly don't think in this room I need the heater. So let me shut up. I'm going to show you the tank. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out aroundnature.com. Check out southeastcichlids.com and let's check out the shell dwellers. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. You know what's next. Ah.